All right, this Sunday, thousands will take to the streets of Los Angeles for the 38th uh, running of the LA Marathon. Among them is Julie Wise. For the last 10 years, Wise has been running and raising money for pancreatic cancer research after losing her dad to the disease. Wise of Santa Monica became known as the marathon goddess after running 52 marathons in 52 weeks. This Sunday, she's running the LA Marathon. As mentioned, this will be her 116th marathon. Whoa. This one, though, is extra special because she's just raised her millionth dollar for pancreatic cancer research, mm. and she will celebrate that milestone on the course. Julie Weiss, the marathon goddess, joins us live in studio. You're always such a ray of sunshine. Congratulations. A million dollars. Thank you so much. Let's start with your why. Why did you embark on this incredible fundraising campaign? Well, sadly, when my, my father, Maurice Weiss, passed away from pancreatic cancer just 35 days after his diagnosis, I knew something needed to be done to raise awareness, research, yeah, fun, you know, we needed funds for research, and I wanted to do something really big and dramatic, and I thought, 52 marathons in 52 weeks, full-time job, kids, I got this. So it turned into this whole uh, quest from, you know, finishing that 10 years ago into uh, now my 115th marathon, running for other people that are affected, not just my dad, but raising hope, raising awareness, and a lot of funds for, for research. Yeah, pancreatic cancer is a really tough cancer. I, I've been involved with this for a long time. One of my good friends lost her mom to pancreatic cancer mm -hmm. and started a run out in Westlake, which is actually Saturday morning, Great. Lust Thank Garden, you. Westlake City Hall. I put the info on my uh, Twitter account. Uh, and at the time, about a decade ago, survival rate was much lower. You have seen some progress, thanks in part to people like you. That's right. Uh, when, my when my father passed, it was only 5%. And since then, it's gone up to 12%. So we are making progress. It's, it's wonderful. Like foundations like the Hirschberg Foundation for Pancreatic Cancer Research. You can check out their website, pancreatic.org. And they have wonderful ways to get involved if you want to do a race, if you want to volunteer, if you mm -hmm. want to come out and cheer us on or train for the LA Marathon with the Hirschberg training team. There's many ways to get involved, but they're doing wonderful research. They have a lab here at UCLA, but they fund seed grants all over the world. I'm so grateful for them and all the work they're doing. So we're making progress. You, you make it sound so simple, the fact that you said, oh, I'm just going to do 52 marathons in 52 weeks. That's a marathon a week. And by the way, she wasn't a runner beforehand. You're now very much a runner. How has running changed your life? What has it taught you? Running has taught me so many things. But I think the most important lesson is, is to believe in yourself and to never, ever give up. I mean, this million dollars that I set out to raise 10 years ago, you know, it's turned into 10 years. I thought I was going to do it in one year, but I'm grateful. You know, Earl Nightingale says, never give up on a dream because of the time it takes. Oh. The time will pass anyways. So all of the people I've met, all of the survivors, all of the people we've lost, um, you know, all of these relationships, it's been a, a, a beautiful journey and I'm grateful for every step and every stride that we've made. Are you sore security. all the time? <laughs> You know, I, I'm, I'm not sore, but I think I have good genetics because I don't get injured very often. I, I'm lucky yeah. in that department, but we're going to be celebrating at yeah. the finish line. Well, and how and, are you going to celebrate? What, what are you going to do on Sunday? Oh, my gosh. Thank you for asking. <laughs> so uh, we're going to be there with survivors. Uh, shout out to Roberta Luna. I know you can't be there, but you'll be there with me in spirit. I love you. Wendy Hammers, eight-year survivor. Caroline, Aww. she's going to be there with me. She's run, They're going to cross the finish line with me. She's got an amazing story check out it on my Instagram um, and also people that you know I've met along this journey who've lost loved ones they're gonna be there and we're gonna celebrate and we're and gonna keep raising that hope I hope your grandkids are gonna be there too. my granddaughter she's a grandmother yes come yes. on you're I, amazing my granddaughters my mom everyone's yeah. gonna be there we're celebrating well Julie wrote a book it's very inspirational all about her journey it's called 52 weeks 52 marathons the miles and trials of a marathon goddess for more information you can visit her website which is simply marathongoddess.com you are absolutely amazing thank you for inspiring and all that you do in the fight against pancreatic cancer thank you cancer. so much and have a great marathon yourself you I'll too see you there. I, I hope to see you out on the course you'll be passing me but it's all good yeah. we got this we got this. Oh, my God. I love it. I'm running three miles on Saturday, and I'm like, <laughs> that's a tiring. I don't know how you guys do it. Congratulations.